this training video, I'm going to discuss how to scan and upload documents. So this would be both for support personnel and obviously tax preparers. So to begin, we're just going to look at the client document. So the client's going to come in. If you're a tax preparer, they're just going to, you know, and you're doing it in person, they're going to toss it on your desk and then you get to sort through it. If they drop it off, um, then again, whoever the support person is going to get to sort through it, figure out. <clears throat> And it, it takes experience to understand what you can keep and what you can't keep. Tax preparers will learn quicker than support people because they'll have to ask questions. But um, if not, scan everything or ask, especially if it's a lot of documents, you don't think you need to scan, ask so we don't scan everything in. Because anything you scan, um, if you're the support person, the preparer is going to look at and then the reviewer is going to look at. So if it's unnecessary, you just cause two more people to look at the unnecessary document documents. And if there's ever an issue, now you got a third person looking at unnecessary documents. So if you're able to cut to the chase and figure out what needs to be scanned, that's beautiful. But if you can't, I guess scan everything or ask questions to learn what should be scanned. Um, all right, now let's get to what we're going to scan and how we're going to scan it. So you're gonna organize the client documents. So hopefully they're gonna give you a client sheet typically W-2s, 1099s, all depends on what time of the year it is. Um, and you're gonna to try to put it in this order. So preparers would love to have the client information sheet first, followed by the W-2s, cause that's just standard form. And then after that, it's kind of a free for all um, cause things just go everywhere. So just try to put it in an organized way that it, um, it goes through the scanner nice, okay? Um, and don't spin it upside down and all that you know the review or the preparers and the reviewers like to have them all in a nice flow and everything's in the same not upside down and everything sometimes you can't help it the scanner sometimes can twist it um so typically this is what you're going to get i'm going to pull minimize this so this is an example of all these different documents a client brings in i got my client info sheet obviously my w-2s and i got some property tax statements um over here taxable value i got this 1099 1095c this is our health insurance when you get good at scanning you'll realize we don't need this anymore but the client brings it in all the time so that is actually something you you wouldn't have that just proves that they had health insurance so we don't need that anymore um that's not part of the tax law so you really don't need to scan it in uh it's, if it's only one page it's not a big deal you know the re preparers know what to do with it um but again, just remember, whatever you scan, at a minimum, two more people are gonna look at those scans. So if, it's, if we don't have to create extra work for other people, we would love that. And see, we have one, two, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, I think six different documents here, six or seven, I can't tell what these PDFs. So you do not want to scan six separate scans and upload it because that means the reviewer and the preparer have to open it six times. You just created six times more work for the reviewer and the preparer. So something that could have been done very quickly, now you just added so much more extra time. So what you want to do, as long as it's a nice, neat thing, scan these documents all together. And again, this is the order we're going to put them in right here. So it's easy for the preparer to get going and the reviewer. So this would all be one scan, as long as it's clean. Now, once you start getting, we get bigger tax returns, it's gonna be harder to scan. So if we have um, stock trades and everything, sometimes those documents can be like 25 pages long. So that one, I usually scan those on, um, on their own individual file. And then, but I do my client info, my W-2s, my little <clears throat> 1099 interest statements, the little documents that are not tricky at all. I'll, I'll group together and then the more difficult documents like stock transactions, it's a 1099B and it's usually thick. That one I'm gonna scan usually on its own. Um, you can try to scan it all together if you want, um, but it's usually, it's just, sometimes you get to a point where it's just too much. So um, let's go ahead and scan this and then we're gonna upload it. So I'm gonna do one scan. <clears throat> So if obviously you just put it in the scanner, push the button, depends on what kind of scanner you have. And then this is gonna be how it's gonna be scanning. 
So you'll see this scan each page. And typically we do black and white just to save some storage space because it's probably about four times less the size if it's black and white. So I prefer to have it scan and go right into my folder. So I don't have a pop-up box say, what would you like to name it? I don't need to see that. I mean, personally, I don't need to see that. This is 99.9% .9 foolproof that when you scan, it's gonna go to the right spot. I'll never say it never won't go to the right spot, but it's gonna go right here. <clears throat> Here's my folder. It's gonna stamp. If it doesn't stamp date it with a date and time, please tell one of us so we can come correct it because we don't want it to grab the name off the first scan document because sometimes the scanner doesn't know what's appropriate <clears throat> and it'll throw anything up there. And it's, sometimes it's very confusing for the preparer and the reviewer. So what I'd like it to do is stamp date it with the date and time. It's simple, easy, clean. So from here, then I'm just gonna go ahead and upload it. So if I'm a preparer, I'm gonna be in tax prep office. If I'm a support personnel, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be um, say in drop off. And from here, I will go ahead and go to my account documents, hit add browse, grab it, and of course I'm gonna name it Reviewer Docs, and then I'm going to save. Uh, I need at least, oh, I guess I gotta get the file first, right? Thought I did that. Oh, I have to wait for it to go. Okay, so this is a large file because it was in color. So then it has to go all the way across, and now I'm going to save, and it's gonna be uploaded. All right, now let's go to, that's how we do client documents. So again, we're gonna do one file if possible. If it's too many, then you know you can break it out. I'll let you use your judgment. Signature documents, obviously depends on if it's a bank product client or not, but we always want the result letter first, then the 8879. So the result letter is the one with the, uh, the breakout, what the refunds are, and it also has the address and phone number of the client. 8879 has given us authorization to e-file. And then after that, I like to have the bank product information page, which breaks out the fees of the bank product they selected. That's very important. So you get, you as a preparer get the signatures, you scan them in, again, one file all together. This is usually pretty easy because it's nice, clean, eight and a half by 11 paper, not a big deal. Um, but just so you know, other people are looking at this document. So the reviewers are gonna look at this. So that's why they like it to be in the same set order. And a lot of times our support personnel on the phones look at this a lot because when the clients call in, we can quickly see what their refund amount is and what kind of product they picked and what their fees were in case it's not properly recorded in Adam. So that's why we like it in this order. Then once you get further back with all the signature docs, those really aren't that important to us. I mean, they're important, but not to the office flow. So from here, um, I think I have it right here. These are the signature documents. I'm not gonna scan it, but this is what they are. Uh, it's usually not a concern. Usually signature documents are all scanned together, but this is the order I want them in. Um, it's the W-2s, the it's the client docs that get, um, sometimes get uploaded in more, in more than multiple files. Now, when the client uploads it from the client portal, we don't have an option. They're typically, unfortunately, they do it one at a time which creates a large large group of files in the account uploads, but we can't control what the client does, but we can control what we do. Um, so that is it. Uh, once you learn it, it's pretty straightforward, but um, it actually is important. Just so you know what you do and how you put the stuff in the file, it affects other people down the road. If you look at the big picture, not just what you're doing. And that is all I have, thank you.